Hello everyone and welcome to another Tips and Tricks video. My name is Dan Lopez and I want to talk to you about an improvement that we did in Transminals. Uh, it was based on client requests, so I think you or, or a lot of people will find this very, very helpful. Uh, now for those of you who are still learning to utilize Tecla Power Fab, I'll also give you a brief uh, introduction to what Transminals are and how they, they used to work and, and, and the reason why we, we make some changes. So let me just dive into the project management module and up into this project that I already have selected. And if you take a look here onto the documents section, uh, we have the transmittals here as the second option. Uh, and I have a, already a few transmittals created. Now I'm not gonna go over you know, the process of creating this. That's like a basic step that you can learn in the in the e-learning training that we have if you are still at that level. Uh, what I wanted to show before showing what we change is that uh, the existing option to submit a, trans a transmittal here uh, is to send this through Outlook, right? So if you go to the transmittal drop-down menu, there is an option that it says email selected transmittal where you were able to select the, any of the contacts that you have included here on your project management job. Uh, if you have any attachments other than the drawings, you can also include those as well and then uh, attach the drawing files and, and compress the drawing files option uh, in the attachment where options available as well. Now, I'm not gonna click email here because I don't have Microsoft Outlook installed on my computer, but basically when you click email for those of, of you who are Outlook users, it will uh, open an Outlook email uh, with the attachments included into it. Uh, it. It works, it works great, but you know, there are clients that have different scenarios and they needed a little bit more. So some of the clients, and I'll give you some of the user stories here, uh, maybe they will need to submit a massive number of drawings, so it will be too heavy, you simply too heavy for the, uh, for the Outlook email limitations that they had in place, or maybe they will have to submit them through a certain service that they contract or ask them, so they still have to extract the drawings and then send them in a different way. Or, you know, they use a different email to Outlook, right? They, they simply don't use Outlook, they use Gmail or something else. Or also because they have a external software that creates a link for them to submit. There is, there is many user stories that we have heard through the time. So what we did is uh, we established an option for when you can go and say, export the selected transmittal. Uh, I can select where I want to drop this transmittal into. So uh, for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and create a, a new folder here in my downloads that I will call uh, transmittal. What's the number of this one? I think it's the uh, zero four. So I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and, and call this T04. Select that folder. And then you can also decide if you, in your report, you know, in the PDF that you include in the transmitter letter, if you want to combine the drawings or have one by one in each line and show the company logo as well. So I'll, I'll just go ahead with those defaults, export the whole thing, and it will take uh, a few seconds. If it's a huge transmitter, it may take, uh, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds, something like that. Let me go to my downloads folder here real quick, and you can see that uh, right inside I have all the drawings that I have in there the the actual other attachments that I have as well uh, some DWG drawings that I also have attached in there and then the transmittal letter as well now you can separate this if you want to uh, you can compress it again if you are using any external service you could do that as well I would simply go in and compress this um, here as well uh, so that's that and then like as, as I said before if you are using any external email like email, I could simply go and, uh, you know, just simply dra drag this into my email and then uh, make my submittal as well. So uh, it is a an extra option that it's in place for you to, uh, in a more flexible way, submit your transmittal. So I hope this helps you. Let us know if you have any questions. As always, contact your help desk area if you have any problems or concerns. And as always, as well, thank you for watching.